I just need to go on a rant. Uh, Fox News thing I saw today. Today is, uh, well, it's down there. Well, in, in case I don't upload it today, it's March 29th, uh, 2012. And I heard an argument against legalizing pot that was just plain awful bad reasoning. On Fox, it was Bill O'Reilly's show, and it was one of the guest people. You, you can usually tell who's the prude by how much makeup they have on. Like, if they look like a mannequin, and they don't look like they have real hair, chances are bullshit is going to come out of their mouth often. As was the case here. Basically, this, she misused a statistic. She said, it has been found that pot users are more likely to be depressed than people who don't use pot. She what she what she did is she implied that pot makes you depressed. But this reasoning is so bad, it's so bad. This is this is a this type of reasoning is as bad as reasoning that water makes you thirsty because people who drink water are more likely to be thirsty than people who are not currently trying to drink water. Therefore, water makes you thirsty. That's how stupid this lady is. You know, when I was younger, and I didn't know any better, I thought that people who are successful, people on the news, people have lots of money, they must have got there because they were really smart. But then I met lawyers who were really stupid, and I met psychologists who I felt were really stupid, and I watch the news and I hear arguments like this. And my naivete is, is gone completely. And now I know that you don't have to be all that smart or you don't have to have really that great reasoning skills to be successful. You just need, I don't know, conform very well. You need to be just a really good conformist maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that, that was her argument against pot. So the problem is um, just that's why you, have, you must be suspicious of statistics because just because something happens near something else or something seems to happen a lot more when something else happens doesn't mean that other thing happen is causing it so I guess another way of looking at it, just because it seems like if A then B more often whenever A happens B happens more often does not mean that A is the cause there could be a third thing C which is the cause so when it comes to pot smokers being more depressed, it could be that it's not that pot makes people depressed, it's that depressed people smoke pot more. You see? So her logic is awful. It, it does not at all prove that pot makes you depressed. <sighs> that, that's a thing, too. I've never heard a good argument for why pot should be illegal at all. Oh, oh, that reminds me of another thing. She mentioned something like, um, if someone's high on pot, you never know. What's the problem? Just, see, that's why I don't like watch Fox News that much. Because, you know, half the time I'm like, oh, okay, I get your point. And then, like, the other half, I'm like, what the hell, guys? I'm gonna throw another pencil. And a pen this time. You probably didn't see it because I'm too close to the camera. But but there are there are pens and pencils on the floor now. This is the other one over there. Exactly. Tell me your Fox News horror stories, either in the comics or the video section. Um, in the video response. Thank you. Goodbye.